the middle of August. A casual wine drinker, through the process of learning how to taste, becomes a more discerning wine consumer. If we don't have consumers out there who can appreciate quality wine, then there's a disconnect. So what we do in conjunction with UBCO, student body, with the community at large, and with the 80,000 guests we receive is to just show them how to get the optimal enjoyment out of a glass of wine. And then we're connected. I guess since UBC has been around only for the last seven years, and I've been six of those years here. Initially, I had not really thought of focusing on the wine industry. But it just makes perfect sense to focus because, you know, that sort of fits into my research frame. Marketing professor Anna Majoy studies the impact of taste culture on the wine industry. She's working with local wineries to understand how they build wine knowledge amongst their clientele. We try to be really accessible to people. We don't want people to think that wine drinking is a hotty toddy experience. We brand ourselves as BC's friendliest little winery and we want people to be able to come in to ask questions, to learn, but also to appreciate and, and to recognize that the most important part of their decision making is their own palate. Not what somebody else told them, it's their palate. That's what they, they should buy what they enjoy. Today, exactly. most consumers are, have had wine. They know varietals. They know that they don't like sweeter wines, they like drier wines. And before we used to joke and say, oh, well, they'll say they like drier, but they really like sweeter. That, that has changed a bit. I believe now people are looking for a drier wine. I believe the consumer is becoming a much more knowledgeable consumer. Professor Joy's area of expertise revolves around high-end fashion and art. She's extending that research into the study of wine marketing. In the case of wine, it's a, the emphasis is on the tongue. All other products that I've looked at, it was on the eye. You know, and people act as total beings, not just you know, eye-focused. One of the things that I found when I studied art, the experience of art in a museum, was that people were, were able to talk about all the five senses. So when it was not just looking at the art, but also how they could taste the art. As Professor Joy is discovering, every winery has taken a different approach in appealing to wine drinkers. I don't think that I actually try to develop a person's palate so much as try to listen to what their palate is, is telling them and to get them to celebrate their own palate because everybody's palate is different. I do not expect anybody coming into our wine shop to like every wine that we've produced. That would just be impossible because we are producing wines for different palates. So how do I help them develop taste? I would say that we help them in that we allow them to experiment. I'm not worried about publishing in just theory oriented journals, like even something like the Harvard Business Review or the California Management Review, Sloan Management, they're very practical oriented, industry oriented research outlets. And I feel that, th that some of this would go into that, where you know the, the implications for industry is like clear cut. And uh, then there's always the book that would put the, the puzzle together.